you know, people need to stop fearing calcification of arteries. That is a normal process. Soft plaque is not. Constant soft plaque build up, build up of soft plaque is basically your LP little A trying to stitch it all together and hold it all together as you're inflaming that tissue. Once you bring the inflammation down, then the body um, calcifies it, stabilizes it. And when it's stabilized, then the body will start clearing it out. And that's when you can use high doses of menoquinone when there's, you know, you go and get yourself tested and you've got super high calcium, then you get on to high dose of menoquinone for to clear it all out. That's how it's supposed to work. The body knows best how it uses these protective. Normally, you wouldn't be inflaming yourself like that. There'd be small injuries. LP little A will come in, stitch it all up. Uric acid will go around to lower the inflammation is as an antioxidant and stuff like that will stabilize by provide electron doning to that tissue. It'll stabilize it. Then calcium will come in and drive calcium in it to, to, to patch it all up. And then that little patch up job will eventually basically then the, the lipids will be removed. The body will start removing those and it'll actually become just a very um, thick calcified sort of uh, plaque. And at that stage, it'll heal behind. And then when it heals behind, then the body will slowly remove that calcification until there's none there. And then the glycocalyx will regrow on that healthy endothelium. That's what it's supposed to do over time. And that was normal when you had very little injury. Now we're actually creating these massive injuries over a number of years, and it takes longer to clear out. And, and also you have to be very careful to make sure it's very stable before you do the clean out. So you have to be at least a year in a low inflamed state with stable plaque and then clear it out. That's probably the only benefit statins have got, even though they are contraindicated and do damage long term to your health, to your mitochondria and everything else. As a short term, what they do is they have a slightly anti-inflammatory effect, which is just minor. But the biggest thing that they actually do is they they calcify. They cause massive calcification. They actually, that's the benefit. They actually stabilize plaque. You know, but you don't have to take a, a statin to do that. You can just basically be in a low carbohydrate state uh, on a carnival diet for a long period of time, and that will do the same thing. You c it will calcify more. People get scared when they see their calcification levels go up, but it's actually a good thing. It means there's a less unstable, um, you know, plaquing. There is nothing worse than having basically unstable angina. You know. That can erupt. That will kill you and create these massive um, uh, plaque strip uh, streaks of fat. Um, uh, you know, it's the last thing you want to. You want stabilized plaque. Do not fear calcification. You know, if you've got a, an endothelial damage, you want to stabilize that. You know, so very important. And then the body will clear it out, and you can use menaquinone 4 to clear it out a bit faster. Yep, it does, long-term. Um, it definitely does. Carnivore diet does better, but it, um, all low-carbohydrate diets, lower inflammation, allow the calcification to stabilize. So even if it becomes more calcified, you've got less lipids being removed out of that and it stabilizes, and the more stable it is, then you go and test yourself and make sure that it's stable, that there's no soft plaque inside it. So you have to scan yourself to make sure that it's very stable. There's no soft plaque. And as long as there's no soft plaque, that's why I, I'm not a big subscriber CAC. CAC will tell you two things, whether you've got plaquing or don't have plaquing. Because if you've got zero CAC, it means you've got no plaquing. Because even small amount of plaquing will actually create little calcium deposits. But it will be, you know, if you look at that, uh, that video. But people have got zero plaquing, zero CAC, basically means they've got no plaquing. Um, in there. So all it is in, is an indicator, nothing else. Somebody who may have low plaquing, 
they may have come off a sad diet and still have low plaque, um, sorry, low calcium, they're actually at more risk than the guy who's actually got far more calcification and has stabilized that angina. It can't erupt. When you've got a lot of calcification, calcium, it's stable. There's no liquidy stuff. There's no that stuff that can actually erupt. It's been removed. That's the important stuff about calcification. I think people are misunderstanding the CAC score stuff. And uh, it's probably one area that I um, disagree. Probably not, probably the word disagree isn't the right. I agree with Ivor that it's a good way of actually finding out whether you've got the condition. But I don't think he has a solution how to get rid of it. Um, he says, do a low carb diet and we'll do it. Yes, it will over time, slowly. But there are better ways faster to do it with high doses of metoquinone 4, which were used both in Dutch and Japanese studies. So we know we can remove it. But we need first to make sure that it is stable. Once it's stable, then we go and get tested, find out exactly that it's you know that it is actually stable and all that, and then we remove it. You know, we just have to speed it up because we've built more compared to if we were on a species of program, we'd have small injuries, it'll it would be very little, if any. And then like you you cut yourself, if you keep on scratching yourself, as I say. It'll just keep on creating a new inflammation and, and new, basically, LPLA coming there to stitch it all up and building up, but it'll be soft and puffy and easy. If you press on it, it'll break and, and puffiness and all that. But then it's sort of calcium comes in and, um, you know, collagen starts binding to it and, and pulling it together and actually hardens. It initially hardens and then it clears away. That's what an injury is supposed to do. It's the same process that's happening in the arteries, exactly the same process. It just takes longer because we've done more damage over a longer period of time. Anyway, 